Hey guys, welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing. Today we are unboxing Legendary Collection, and this one is the one centered around the God cards. Hope you guys enjoy this. Subscribe if you're new. This is the Game Board Edition. Uh, I think this just got reprinted, which is why it should be in local stores and stuff. By the way, if you're wondering about my mat, okay? I just got that from Konami. It is a Duel Links mat. It's so beautiful. Uh, but... We're going to go ahead and open up this. So I've already got it kind of just, you know, already just, you know, ready to go. Because I honestly contemplated just kind of opening this on the side. But I was like, eh, let me share this experience with the subscribers, of course. Uh, can I get this last little? There we go. Cool. Got the piece of plastic off. Are, they, are the cars actually in here? No, they're not. Okay, they're not in the sleeve thingy up there. Yeah, they're not. Okay, so this is the, the lid, of course. Legendary Collection Game Board Edition. Found this at Target. A lot of people are saying that they have as well. Uh, so forgive me if it's kind of zoomed in, by the way. My camera angle is not the best. But we're going to do what we can. So this actually reprints a lot of the older packs. So hopefully we can pull some fire. So here we have the God cards. So we're going to open that in just a moment. We have Pharaoh Servant. We have Legend of Blue Eyes. That's pretty cool. We have Dark Crisis along with Metal Raiders. All right. We got some really good packs. I didn't know what actually this all entailed, by the way. We got Invasion of Chaos along with Spell Ruler. These are all some of the OG packs from when I was a kid, man. That's pretty cool. And I was going to say, is there something back here? Typically, there is, and there is. So let me go ahead and pop this thingy out. This is a game board. That's why it's called Game Board Edition. Uh, and then we'll first and foremost, look at the uh, back of the box. It actually tells you what's in there. Uh, so Treasure of the Pharaoh from the Dawn of Dueling. So... We have all that stuff. Feel free to read this and pause it if you want to. Anyways, so that's pretty cool. It also shows you everything that's in there. I was going to say, how do I get the Yugi Kaiba Joy one? Right? But I think you just flip it over. Uh, a double-sided game board featuring all three God cards. There we go. Awesome. We'll look at that in just a moment. So we get all three of the God cards alongside the most famous monsters, one of each, with their secondary arts. I think those are the second arts that they uh, printed for those cards. So... They've, of course, been reprinted to hell with all types of different ARPs by now, but, you know, you get my point. So, first and foremost, let's look at the game board, and I'm going to put it away. You kind of just saw it on the box, but here is the game board. Uh, let me move the packs out of the way. All right, so here's a game board. Go ahead and just kind of pick it up, pick up the camera so I can show you guys. We got the Slifer. We have the three monsters, most famous monsters, alongside Obelisk, Exodia Necros, uh, the Dark Magician of Chaos, alongside Beast Skull Dragon and Wing Dragon of Raw. And we're going to flip it over. Oh, I think this was a game art at one point. Correct me if I'm mistaken, right? Um, I think this, oh, you're not even seeing it. I think this was a game art for one of the older games way back in like the early 2000s. Uh, I'm pretty certain, in fact. And it's also a deck board, so you can play on it. You can kind of barely see the zones, but you can play on it. So... I don't think you can play on the other side. You cannot. So on this side, there's no... Well, I guess you could, right? But there's no placeholder. So let's go ahead and get back to our packs, though. Let me get this out of here. Thank you, Ron Slifer, for bringing the boy all those beautiful treats. All right. So we are ready to go. Um, firstly, like I said, we're going to open up the promo. So the promo should have the God cards and then Yugi, Kaiba, and Joey's Ace Monsters. Or Rex, Mon Rex Raptor's ace monster until Joey beat him for it. Or Yugi's grandpa's ace monster, I believe, right? Anyways. Obelisk, the Tormentor. All right. Going to sleeve all these cards up after the video, so I'm going to be very gentle with them. Slide for the Sky Dragon and the Winged Dragon of Raw. So we're just waiting on that Obelisk in Duel Links, man. And then Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Dark Magic. And Red Eyes. I think Red Eyes looks the best, in my opinion. He looks really good with the holographic effect. Like, I don't know if I showed the other two off uh, to where you could really see it. But I think Red Eyes probably looks the best, like, shading-wise. And then there's Blue Eyes. I think Red Eyes looks really, really good out of those three. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I think Red Eyes looks freaking beast. I typically only really like the original Dark Magician and Blue Eyes arts anyway. Speaking of the original Blue Eyes, can we pull one from this pack? Can we pull? We're going to start here with Legend of Blue Eyes. We're going to start all the way with, like, I think this is, like, the first pack ever. So forgive me if I'm not, you know, correct on my card pack lore, right? There we go. Of course, this is going to be a reprint anyway, so kind of devalued. All right, Tyhone. I haven't seen this in super long. I know there's probably a number two, right? Skull Servant. Okay, Mountain, a spell card, which... Oh, we pulled a Dark Magician. 
<laughs> awesome. I remember this art. This might have been actually the second art for Dark Magician, or the first one, to be honest. We pulled a Dark Magician. That's awesome. Giant Soldier of Stone, and then Fiend Reflection number two, Violent Crystal, or Violet, excuse me, Sandstone, and Nemiruko. And there we go. We pulled a friggin' Dark Magician. Make sure you guys leave a like for my Dark Magician. He's going to sit right over there. Let's bounce into Pharaoh's Servant next and see if we can get the Thousand Eyes Restrict. Yeah, we'll actually, we'll actually open up Spell Ruler first because there's a Relinquish back there. So we'll start, you know, in chronological order with Relinquished and then um, Thousand Eyes. All right, there we go. All right. Crab Turtle is the first card, Ritual Monster. Metal Fish, this is, I remember all these old monsters that were just tribute monsters that you would just never play. Dark Witch, I remember you as well. Uh, I also skipped over the Reliable Guardian. We got a Giant Rat, so I think he's the only rare. I think these are one rare per pack. Toll, and yes, they are. October, sir, I guess. Performance of Sword and Slot Machine. Bandit Keith's card. All right, so that's two packs out of the way. Let's go ahead and bounce into this one here and see if we can get another Ultra Rare. Uh, and before, I'm only getting one Ultra Rare in the entire video. But I'm still not mad because that's Dark Magician, bro. That is Dark freaking Magician. All right, Shadow of Eyes. And we move on to Oni Tank T34, Bubonic Vermin. We have the Regulation of Tribe, Dimension Hole. Okay, that is our Rare. Oh, Wing Weaver. I remember this card. I used to love this card. Type 0 Magic Crusher, Inspection, and Kisitea. Or forgive me if I'm pronouncing any names wrong. But yeah, you guys don't know how big of a nostalgia trip this is for me. Um, because when some of these packs were coming out, like early 2000, like 2001, I think, is when Legend of Blue Eyes came out originally. Uh, if I recall correctly, I was like, just, you know, like seven or eight, you know? So <laughs> it's like super nostalgic for me seeing all these really, really old packs. By the way, this is Invasion of Chaos. Uh, let's come in a little bit. Tower of Babel. This one's actually not as old. I think this one's like 2006. Uh, Chaos End. Terror King Salmon. Chaos Necromancer. Berserk Gorilla. I used to run this card in threes. Uh, Cannonball Sphere. We have Grand Maju. Daiza. Daiza. Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness alongside Ryu Koki. So, there we go. I'm still psyched about that Dark Magician, man. All right, so we're going to bounce into Metal Raiders. It would be nice if we could pull the Black Skull Dragon, but I don't expect it. It's cool with me either way that we pull the freaking Dark Magician. The Little Swordsman of Ali, or Ale, excuse me. Uh, Lava Battle Guard. Armored Zombie. Tremendous Fire. And Witch of the Black Forest. Wow, she used to be so good. In fact, she still is a pretty good card if you want to read her effect. It's just last time I was playing, she was just perma-banned, always. Uh, and a lot of those cards have now been, you know... Not banned anymore, but she used to be so good. Uh, her and Sangen. All right, so Mystic Lamp is the last card in there. In fact, I think that card works with Legin, right? The monster, oh no, it doesn't. Uh, this monster can attack directly. These cards are not so good, but it is what it is. Final pack, Dark Crisis. Final pack. <laughs> Hopefully, the Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links mat will bring the boy some luck. Hopefully, we can pull fire courtesy of the. Dual Links Matt. All right. Uh, final one right here. All right. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and pull like the last four cards because I think it's four. All right. Boom. It could be one more, but it's fine. We're going to start off with Moral Boost or Morale Boost. Uh, Despair from the Dark. Battle Scarred. Non Spellcasting Area. Guardian Kaest. Kelbeck. Arsenal Summoner. And Guardian Bio. Okay. I was actually four, like I thought. Incandescent Ordeal as well. So these are cards from that one arc in Yu-Gi-Oh, which I never really was a fan of. Anyways, we were able to pull. So just to recap, these cards were all rares. We actually got Giant Rat and Witch of the Black Forest, so that's cool. I like those searcher type cards. Anyways, Giant Rat, Witch of the Black Forest, Guardian Bio. We have Berserk Gorilla alongside Dimension Hole. And for our... Premium card pull of the video of the pack uh, of the box or I should say uh, we have dark magician So really happy about the dark magician. He looks awesome And by the way, let's go back to some of the things that we pulled earlier Just kind of recap those as well uh, in the promo pack. So dark magician red eyes Blue eyes and then the other dark magician art 
alongside Slifer, Obelisk, and Raw. And these are actually the additions that cannot be used in a duel. So keep that in mind. These can't be used in a duel. Uh, the other additions, unless they're banned, can be because they actually have effects on them. These ones do not. These are more in line with the original releases of these cards. They even have the colored backsides. So there we go. The, how awesome is that? Like if these were in your deck, for example, you just know you're about to pull fire, right? Like there's no, there's no second guessing or anything. Like you're just like, okay, I've got the board set up. I have one card to draw, and it's going to be Obelisk, or it's going to be Slife for a Raw. You know what I'm saying? You just got fire, and you know it. <laughs> so really happy about this. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you guys consider subscribing for more content on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and Yu-Gi-Oh! just as a whole. Uh, a lot coming down the pipeline. Anyways, have an awesome day, and thank you again for the continued support here on the channel, guys.